Hi guys and welcome to the new video. Today we are in New York in USA. It's right now 12.30 local time. We departed from UAE about 24 hours ago. I haven't really slept yet but we're also departing in less than 24 hours from New York so we're gonna go and try to explore a little bit but we will see how much uh, energy we have and how much can we see we're here we don't want to waste time so let's go and check it out so guys we are literally on a Times square now and i have to say i haven't built so uncomfortable <laughs> recording in public as I feel in New York because it's just so so many people here and since my dog ate my small microphone I literally have to have a big one attached to the camera so it's definitely attracting some looks but yeah we are now on the Times Square but heading to the metro station from where we're just gonna take a subway uh, to the Brooklyn Bridge. So I guess that's the metro we are heading to. I think it's called... What is it called? Times Square 42 Street. And they pretty much all look the same. But yeah, that's where we're going. Even buying the ticket in Metro was too overwhelming for me because I uh, didn't know if I can pay with uh, Apple Pay. Yes, you can, but only when you tap, like I did. The initial what I tried to do and buy just a normal ticket, you cannot pay with Apple Pay. So loud and busy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not where we're supposed to be. I think I made an oopsie and I'm not sure how to fix it yet. So guys, it is super windy, so I need to put my hat on because otherwise I'll get sick. So what happened? I think I took a wrong metro. <laughs> it was the right direction, so we're not that far off but we're not where we're supposed to be. However, because of that oopsie, uh, I have a Statue of Liberty right in front of me. So we're gonna quickly check out the viewing point. It was completely unplanned, but I'm actually quite happy. So we're gonna go check it out and to fix my uh, mistake, my subway mistake, I will have to walk for 30 minutes uh, or take another subway for 25 minutes so I just decided to walk and check the Statue of Liberty on my now bucket list uh, in New York so let's go see it I don't know if you can see but there she is so guys I was actually considering going to the Statue of the Liberty for this trip but the thing is, it's already uh, midday and I just uh, have a few things that I want to do today and I feel like this one would take me the whole day and I do want to go to the Crown. Huh? I never tried to film the kid, the FBI filming the kid. I never tried to diss the FBI. I was just looking fly, I was homeless on the streets and looking fly and, and, and macking and all that and it was hating on me. So they got all the women to turn against me. Oh, and that's I, I a never, bad luck, no? Tried, I never tried to diss the FBI. I was just homeless on the streets, macking, looking flying in them while homeless, and they was hating on me. So they turned all the women against me. I never was what? hating on them. I don't know what's going on. This bridge is the bridge that I want to walk through, but I'm not exactly sure 
where it starts and how I can get there. But this is what we're gonna do today. We are officially now on the Brooklyn Bridge and trying to get to the other side. From what I read, it's about 30 minutes walk, but we will see what time is it now. It's 10 minutes to two. Let's see if it's 30 minutes, 40 minutes or 20 minutes. It's very loud. It's right next to the street, but it's a bridge, so could have expected that. So guys, I can already tell you that it's gonna take longer if you wanna make a lot of photos because it's very, very hard to get a shot with no people in the photo with you. It's a lot of tourists here. It's nowhere comparable to Times Square. So it's a little bit easier if you don't like big crowds, but it's still a lot of people. So technically, it's not allowed to put logs. I don't think people are really afraid of that. I think we're getting close to the end of the bridge let's see what time it is it's five past two so that would be only 15 minutes so maybe i'm wrong ah we will see it feels like it's almost the end so guys it took 20 minutes it's not even almost 15 past two uh, however it's not like at the end of the bridge there's something interesting. It's literally just the street that continues for another 20 minutes. And that's why probably they say it's going to take 40 minutes. Because to reach all those, um, let's say, Instagrammable spots and cafes and so on, you do need to walk 40 minutes, although you're not really on the bridge anymore, if that makes any sense. A few minutes later. So guys, we reached this famous Insta spot uh, for photos where you can see the Manhattan Bridge, the Tambo neighborhood, the Empire State in the background. It is really pretty, like it looks super cool on a photo. But jeez, the amount of people that wants to get that shot be prepared that is gonna take you a while and you will probably have to photoshop some people from your photo just to get that one shot so guys just to give you the idea we're walking now to the vinegar hill or vinegar hill house i'm not exactly sure what it is I think it's just a cute house, cute old house that's standing here and it's kind of an attraction. I don't know. To be honest, my research was, uh, was very, very brief. I did not have time uh, to do a proper research or plan anything. So I'm just going with the flow, just wandering around other parts of New York. That's basically the whole plan for today, is to get lost, but in the end find the way back to the hotel, hopefully. What is this? Uh. <laughs> I'm just looking at this side behind me, it's like a metal rod. I don't know what those places are, right, but I get a feeling that there must be a lot of cool cafes and maybe art galleries or something. I'm not really sure. It's only like 3 p.m. So we still have at least a couple of hours. So maybe apart from Brooklyn, we can actually uh, wander around the Times Square and the, the, the what you really think about when you think about what you really see when you think about New York, because I'm sure it's not what you expected but i don't know why like if i have one day i would prefer to go around uh, this area than times square but to be honest i've been there before it's not my first new york flight it's just that i'm always so super tired that i can't really imagine going around that many people 
and it's super loud and so on so uh, that's why I picked this as my little uh, escape but we've made it I think to this town's hills no, vinegar hill houses and they do look very cute it's right there behind me like I don't know if they're just abandoned now I didn't really read about it but they look abandoned like nobody even lives there or maintains it so we will go take a closer look okay let's check it out looks like from some movies like a house where a witch would live oh but there's a puss living here it's not a witch it's a cookie So guys, I found something uh, to eat. Uh, <laughs> I cannot get over the prices in the uh, USA. So my belly is fuller and my wallet is much lighter. I think I'm ready to leave Brooklyn. I'm just gonna try to get back to, um, to the uh, Manhattan area around the Times Square and maybe we'll walk around there a little bit. My phone is also dying so I don't want to find myself in the middle of Brooklyn with no phone. A few minutes later So guys, we're back. This time I took the subway. We're just below the Empire State Building and walking towards the Grand Central Terminal. I don't know <laughs> what about you, but uh, I spent a couple good years watching the Gossip Girl. So it's kind of like iconic place for me. So. Yeah, we're just gonna go check it out and then I don't know what's then, but that's, that's the next step. So guys, it was super beautiful and I got my Gossip Girl fantasy fulfilled. I think I look lost and alone because some lovely lady offered to do the whole photo session for me. And when I mean the whole photo session, like from all different perspectives and different locations. So <laughs> hopefully something works out. That's one of the things when you travel by yourself, you don't really get a lot of photos and all the uh, shots of me in different locations are like, hi, <laughs> because I just hold the camera and record, but don't really make any photos. So it's super nice to have a to have a photo from the location that you've seen in a TV show that you really liked when you were younger. But anyway, uh, now that we're done with the, the Grand Central, um, I think we're just gonna walk back to the Times Square, do the shopping and head back to the hotel. Maybe just walk around a little bit, but I can't get too far because my phone is literally on the edge of dying. Hey guys, we are back in the hotel and I'm so tired. Now what time it is? Where's the clock? 6.32 p.m. local time. 
So I don't even know what time it is now. Minus five plus four. It's nine hour difference. So it's like very early <laughs> in in Abu Dhabi. I don't even know how many hours I haven't slept by now. I bought some snacks in I went to Target on the way back. I bought the chippies, I bought the some vitamins and for the for breakfast for tomorrow uh, cauliflower up and i got uh, uh, proposed to <laughs> in target as well there was a man ready to marry me on the spot <laughs> sorry ian <laughs> this chair is making weird sounds i don't know if you can hear it or not but it's kind of like farting we've done almost 22,000 steps i cannot feel my legs I really, really, really enjoy the Brooklyn part, the Times Square part, not so much, but still, it was nice. It's, it's de it it's definitely gives you this wow effect if you, if you see it for the first time. There was a moment that I was really close to uh, going to inside the Empire State Building, uh, but they have so many entries and at each entry they have a security that tells you that it is not this entry, it's the next entry. You shall not pass! They're not very nice, to be honest, they're actually a bit rude. The guy who was at the reception that was there was a bit unkind, so I was upset and decided not to go there. <laughs> yes, I had my uh, rebellious moment and decided not to go. I will probably go there one day, uh, hopefully there will be somebody nicer at the reception. Other than uh, that, I kind of enjoyed it. I, I'm actually surprised because most of my uh, New York flights were very difficult and hard to enjoy. Um, because again, I was very tired and couldn't even get up uh, and do much. <laughs> So I hope it makes sense what I was trying to show you or what I was saying. I still hope that you like it and uh, that you enjoyed the video. As always, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!